Hello data lovers, so welcome back to the part 3 of SQL Interview Pro 2.0 series and in today's video we will be solving couple of more SQL interview questions related to different topics, different concepts and also these questions will be gone up from ninja category. So make sure to watch this video till the very end because you will be learning few really amazing concept of SQL today. Also solve these questions along with me, first read the problem statement and try to put up your own solution in the comment section and you can solve these questions completely free on code studio platform by coding ninja link is given in the description so press the like button and let's get started so this is our first question and the problem statement is tree node and uh, looks like i have solved this questions previously and i remember this question was actually asked to me in the uber data engineering interview so I definitely know the solution, but it's very, very interesting to solve in the very first glance. It will look a very difficult problem statement, but it is very easy if you stick with your basic. So let's read the problem statement. We will be given the table which will sort of represent the tree architecture, tree data structures. We know it will have the root and the left child, right child, that kind of data structure where this id column is the value of node that means the node which we will have in the tree and this is the pid means the parent id so the node which is mentioned here which node is the actual parent of it so that id will be given here so here the definition of the leaf node root node inner node the leaf node is basically that node which do not have the left and the right child root means the parent node of the entire tree architecture and the inner node means that particular node within the tree which can have the left child or right child or both. So we need to print this output table means the type for each node based on this given representation. So this is the tree representation which has been given for this table as you can see one is the root node and then 2, 3 means the parent of 2 and 3 is 1 and the parent of 4 and 5 is so this architecture is given and based on this data set we need to print this one. So here let's focus on this table and architecture and let's try to see how we can solve it. It can be solved very easily with the help of case when statement you do not need to think any anything extraordinary the group wise or any sort of joins or any complex sub queries it's very straightforward with the help of case statement it can be solved very very easily so let's try to focus on these three things which we need to print and try to convert it in the case when statement right how we can do that so if we focus first on the root in this entire tree we know that there will be only one root not more than that and the condition for root means wherever the parent id is null because root will not have any parent and that is why we can see the parent id is null for the node 1. So one condition is very straightforward wherever this is null we will simply call it a root node. Now talking about the leaf node. So leaf node we all know that they will not be parent of any other node because they do not have the left and right child. So in that case we can simply assume that the entries for those nodes who are the leaf node will never be present in the PID and that is what we can see 4 and 5 they will always be the leaf node they cannot become a parent of anything and that is the reason their entries are not present in this PID column. So the second condition which we can apply if any node which is not present in the values of PID column we can call it as a leaf node and the third will be the else condition whatever is remaining that will be called as a inner node. So that is the simple solution of it. Let's try to implement. So select what we need the ID column. So case when PID is null then root. This is the first condition. When ID not in select distinct PID from tree where P 
पी आई डी इज नॉट नल देन वी विल कॉल इट एज अ लीव एल्स इनर एंड एज टाइप फ्रॉम ट्री टेबल राइट सो लेट्स ट्राई टू एग्जीक्यूट इट सो एज वी कैन सी वन रूट हेयर टू इज इनर नोट थ्री इज द लीफ नोट फोर इज द लीफ नोट एंड फाइव इज द लीफ नोट सो एग्जैक्टली इट इज मैचिंग विद द रिजल्ट विच वी वॉन्टेड सो द कंडीशन शुड बी प्रिटी मच क्लियर दिस इज फॉर द नल चेक मीन्स टू प्रिंट द रूट नोट एंड हेयर वी आर चेकिंग इफ दिस आई डी कॉलम इज नॉट present in the values of this pid that means it will be treated as a leaf node and the remaining part is something which will be called as a inner node so this is a very interesting question to solve i would be really interested to see how many of you were able to catch this solution without even looking at somewhere else if you were able to do that that means really good stuff feel free to put your solution in the comment section move on to the next question it is also from the ninja category question is the shortest distance in a plane so table point 2d holds the coordinates x comma y of some unique points more than 2 in a plane so looks like a mathematical question so this is the table we will be given and name is the point underscore 2d x and y column so these are the points right here and there which are given on a 2d plane what we need to do we need to find the shortest distance between a pair of coordinates that's what we need to figure out and that should be like till two decimal places so if we look at this table we can see the shortest distance is 1.00 from this one right so this coordinate to this coordinate the distance is something which will be the shortest one okay so this is what we need to do so this is purely mathematical stuff and here also we do not need to think anything uh, extraordinary uh, we just need to focus on our basic mathematics so if you remember uh, your basic mathematics part in order to find the distance between two points the formula was a uh, square root of x1 minus x2 square plus y1 minus y2 square so that is what we need to do we will use the join condition because here we need to first figure out the distances between every coordinate pair means the distance between this pair with the 0 0 distance of this pair with this one distance of 0 0 with minus 1 minus 2 so all those distances we need to calculate and then we can take a minimum of it all right so let's try to solve it and we will be using the inbuilt function of uh, sql so first sqrt means to find out the square root and the formula is we will use the power function power function of p1 dot x minus p2 dot x comma 2 so this is the power for this value power for p1 minus x minus p2 dot x and power will be 2 and then plus we will be using the same thing and it will be like y and y so in this way the square root part is calculated and then on top of this we will be applying the min function so min function is applied and it will be named as shortest so this is the calculation from first table is point 2d and we will name it as 1 and we will take a cross join so that each pair can be included here and this is again a self self kind of cross join on p1 dot x so the condition right where we would not like to consider the pairs if the x coordinate of one pair is equivalent to the x coordinate of another pair right another coordinate basically 
and vice versa for the y1 because in that case what will happen the two pairs might start or might end up at one single point that is the reason we will ignore those kind of you can say the pairs where this condition is getting satisfied on p1 dot x not equals to p2 dot x dot y not equals to p2 dot y so this is the condition now let's execute it so as we can see this is the expected output so as per the explanation this was the pair minus 1 comma minus 1 minus 1 comma 2 where the shortest distance between these two coordinates will be 1 so this was the expected output which we are getting so again nothing complex in terms of the implementation it's just the pure basic mathematics part which has been used here so this is something which can be solved easily so now question find the missing ids and it is also from the ninja category let's look at the data so we will have the customers table customer id customer name customer id is the primary key so this is how the table looks like one four five and the customer names write an sql query to find the missing customer ids the missing ids are ones that are not in the customer table but are in the range between one and the maximum customer id present in the table notice the maximum customer id will not exceed 100 so i think the problem statement says that we will be given this particular customer table and the customer ids will be these numeric numbers and we need to figure out the missing ids which are not present in the customer id column but lies between the one and the maximum customer id range and if we look at for this table the maximum customer id is the five and obviously minimum will be one so the missing ids are two and three because you can see entry for two and three is not present here so very interesting now i know you guys have started thinking about this solution so what would be the very basic approach if you think about this problem statement in a very basic way then the first thought which will hit your mind that we can generate i mean if there is a any way we can generate all the numbers like one two three four five till the maximum customer id number and then we take a left join or we do a lookup kind of thing right if we do a lookup kind of thing then we will be able to find out our final result and this is the actual approach this is the correct approach we need to do that and definitely we need to derive all those consecutive ids starting from one till the maximum customer id one two three four five so that we can take a look up so the question is how to do that because if you try to relate it with the programming languages there you can run a for loop there you can run a while loop right anything and you can generate that series of number but how to do it in the sql and this is the interesting concept which everyone will learn today that is the common table expression and within that the second category which is recursive common table expression so first let me know in the chat box how many of you have explored the common table expression how many of you know it if not then focus on this question for sure because you will learn it today so talking about the recursive common table expression obviously it is the with clause and it works exactly similar to the recursion in the programming languages where we are calling the same function again and again till a base condition hits okay so let's try to write it so with recursive keyword and we will name it like all ids as select one as ids union all select ids plus one as ids from all ids so here you can see what we are doing 
so this is our anchor query anchor query means the seed value or the very first value which will start feeding this recursive function and then we are calling the union all so union all it will like keep on appending and concatenating the next recursive resultant and here we are simply incrementing it whatever previous value from the anchor query is coming in we are adding one to it so after the first run values will be like one two and so on here we also need to apply some kind of base condition that will be taken care with the help of where clause and you can see all ids is the actual name which we have given to this temporary table with clause or you can say common table expressions basically used for prepare this kind of temporary table so we are calling the same expression of the table which is named as all underscore ids again and again in this internal implementation until a base condition hits so here the base condition will be ids less than select max customer id from customer stable all right so now if i simply print this thing if i only print the content of this table then you will get the idea how it actually looks like so select a star from all ids so let's execute it so you can see one two three four five so this is what we actually wanted we wanted to generate all the numbers starting from one till the maximum customer id so that we can take a look up for these missing values which are two and three so this temporary table has been prepared for us and now we are simply going to do the lookup part here so select ids from all ids where ids not in this table select star from customers all right so now if we execute this thing oh it shouldn't be the select star it should be the lookup on the customer id column so customer id and let's execute it again and that's what we can see two three so that was the expected output and after this one i hope you got the clarity of the common table expression and mostly the recursive common table expression and i would say for this video this is something which was really interesting a very new concept for everyone to learn about and the first question which we solved that is also another really good concept or a good question to solve which teaches us that if even a question looks very complex it can be solved with the very easy easy concepts if you are good at your basics so that is what i had for this video i'm pretty sure you would have enjoyed all these three questions and let me know in the comment section which one was your favorite and also make sure to first go through with these questions solve it by your own if you find this video informative then make sure to hit the like button also if you are new to the channel then hit the subscribe button and press the notification icon so that you can get the first notification as soon as i upload the next part of this interview preparation series so i will see you guys really soon with the part four of this series till then just keep exploring data